Yeah, okay, uh, good afternoon. I'm very pleased uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Shimon Moody, who is um, a research assistant professor from the College of Technology, and he does a lot of work on biometrics, about which uh, he will be talking today. Okay, thank you, Shimon. Thank you, Professor Bertina. Uh, so today my talk will concentrate on analysis of fingerprint sensor interoperability on uh, system performance, and this was part of my uh, PhD dissertation work and actually Professor Bertino was uh, one of the committee members on my PhD work, so this will be a recount for her. <laughs> but the agenda for uh, today's presentation, I'll try and do a brief introduction of biometrics and uh, give you a little bit of an overview of what we do in the biometrics lab so that uh, you have a base for, uh, the for the rest of the presentation. And then I'll go into the problem definition, the significance of the problem that I researched, what is the purpose of the study, the data analysis methodology, and the analysis uh, met methodology, and uh, go into the conclusions and some future work. And uh, there, are, there are quite a few interesting uh, uh, future work avenues that came out of it, and we are always looking for people to collaborate with. So if something interests you, then uh, please come and talk to me after the presentation. So what is, what is biometrics? Uh, biometrics is defined as the automated recognition of human based on physiological or behavioral characteristics. So some of the examples of bio biometric technologies are fingerprint recognition, face recognition. These are the more popular ones, the ones that you get to hear about in the media. Then you get into uh, some of the ones that you don't hear about too much, uh, things like signature verification, keystroke dynamics. And uh, this list is not exhaustive, but these are just some of the examples uh, of biometric technologies. And what we do in the biometrics lab, we concentrate on applied research. Uh, we, do not, we, do, we do not really work too much with basic science and development of algorithms, but we will collaborate with other, uh, other departments that will work with algorithms, and we will test how well does this per a particular device or algorithm work when it's deployed uh, in the field. So we try and be, be the feedback loop between uh, basic science and what's hap what happens when the particular device is deployed. So a lot of our research is very applied in nature. So when you talk about biometric systems, uh, they can be, they can be uh, categorized into five subsystems. And this is, this is independent of what kind of modality uh, you're talking about. Uh, the very first one is data capture. This is where the user interacts with the system and provides his or her biometric characteristic. From there on, the data is sent on to some kind of feature extraction, processing, once the once the sample is processed, it's either stored, or if there's a matching operation, it is sent to the matching subsystem. And in the end, you have a decision where, based on some kind of administrative policies, you will decide if a particular matching operation is a success or a failure. So within the biometric system, you have two processes. The very first one is enrollment. This is where a user will interact with the system for the very first time, create a reference template for himself or herself, and from there on, every subsequent interaction with the system will be either a verification or some kind of a recognition um, operation. So now let's get into uh, fingerprint recognition. Uh, fingerprints itself are, are formed by the flow of ridges on the surface of your, of your fingers. And these, uh, these ridge lines have dis discon dis discontinuities in it. And these discontinuities are called minutia points. And there's a pattern that is formed by the placement of minutia points, which is what makes your fingerprint uh, unique to yourself. And in terms of fingerprint recognition from an algorithmic perspective, each minutia point can be described using four characteristics. The X coordinate, the Y coordinate, uh, it's the uh, direction of the, of the minutia point, the angle, and what type is it. Minutia points are broadly ca categorized into two types. It can either be an ending, where a ridge line just comes to an end, or a bifurcation where a single ridge line will split into two ridge lines. So these are just some basics of uh, fingerprint recognition and how algorithms go about doing uh, fingerprint recognition. Uh, just, a, just a very, very uh, top level overview of how minutia extraction is performed. Once, a, once you capture a raw image from the sensor, it's binarized. Basically, the image is converted into either black pixels or white pixels. Uh, most, most algorithms will define the black pixels to belong to the ridge lines. 
And once the binarization is performed, uh, the algorithm will go through what is called skeletonization, which is the ridge line will be eroded to the point where it's only a single pixel wide. And once the skeletonization happens, uh, there'll be some kind of a tracing algorithm that will follow these ridge lines and identify minutia points or breakages in these ridge lines. Uh, another another uh, issue that comes up when you talk about biometrics in the applied domain is sample quality. And what is what is quality? There are three different connotations. The first connotation is character. So this is where the quality is defined based on how well does the sample actually provide or how well does the source actually provide a sample. So say in terms of your finger, if your finger is scarred, it, 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 is, it is said to have poor character because it cannot give a representative sample of, your, of, of a proper fingerprint. Fidelity is based on how accurate is the representation of that sample that is captured to the source. So if a person cannot interact properly with the fingerprint sensor, uh, the sample will not be representative of the source, so it will have low fidelity. And the third connotation is utility, which is, uh, and you'll see an example of this later on, um, that I use for my PhD research work, is utility is defined as the contribution of the particular sample to the error rate of the data set. So once you introduce a sample into an existing data set, how, what, are the, what is the effect on error rates of the particular, of the entire data set? Do the false match rates increase? Do the false non-match rates increase? Um, so just the matching accuracy of the entire data set, what happens to it? In terms of fingerprints, uh, what are some of the factors that can affect sample quality? The uh, first one is the condition of the fingerprint itself, depending on the, depending on how dry or, or uh, how moist your fingerprint is, it, it will it, it will provide different characteristics on different types of fingerprint sensors. Then there's habituation, how well does the individual know how to react or how to interact with the device? Uh, Nowadays, you see laptops with swipe fingerprint sensors on it. That requires a little bit of a different interaction compared to traditional devices, which where you just place a finger on the device. The type of technology that's used is it. Uh, there are there are several different types of acquisition technologies. The more commercially available ones are optical, capacitive, thermal. These, all of these technologies introduce their own weaknesses uh, because of the underlying acquisition uh, methodology, and the ergonomics of the device. How well, how well is the device designed so that the person can actually interact with it? So when you talk about sample quality, obviously if you have a bad quality image, it will have an effect on the overall performance of the data set. Uh, it's, a, it's a very simple paradigm, garbage in, garbage out. So uh, these, are, these are some of the issues that you see when a, when a fingerprint uh, recognition system is deployed in the field. When you have unhabituated users come and interact with the device in an operational environment where there might be dirt, where, there might, where people might be coming in uh, with hands that are not of perfect quality. So now going to the problem definition of, um, of the research work that I, that I performed, this was more related to inter interoperability of fingerprint sensors. And fingerprint sensors introduce distortions and variations in the images that are captured by the sensor. And these distortions are dependent on the type of sensor, and they are not always consistent across all the different sensors. So an individual providing fingerprints on an optical, on a capacitive, and a thermal sensor will not always provide the same type of fingerprint, uh, fingerprints. And if there are inconsistencies in the resulting sample, they will not be the same across all, th all the different kinds of sensors. So when you match fingerprints that have been collected on different types of fingerprint sensors, uh, it increases the probability of false match rates and false non-match rates. These are error rates that define the performance of a biometric system. And in terms of, uh, in terms of performance, you want to have minimal number of false matches and you want to have minimal number of false non-matches. So an increase in any of those error rates is is not a good thing. So when you talk about 